Okay, welcome back. So you have now your domain name registered, you have your domain name service correctly configured, and you've signed up for web hosting service. Now it's time to get your files onto your web host servers and take your website live. Now, there are actually quite a few different ways to do this, and for a simple website without too many files to upload and update, any of them can work well for you. As one way, most web hosting services provide a web-based interface. This allows you to upload your files directly through your browser with no special software required. Each company's interface is a little bit different, but they all work in more or less the same way. So let's look now at how a small orange does it. Now, since you have your account already set up, if you're already logged into your account, you'll come here and you'll see your services and these other options right here. You can get to what we need through clicking on your services. And then you'll see my shared hosting plan right here. I'll click the view details. And then down here at the bottom is log in to see panel. Now this took us a few steps to get to. So once we get to this, I'm gonna recommend that you um, bookmark this site. So this takes me to mine. This is cPanel. This is an interface through which I can manage my hosting account. The first time you get to it, you'll need to do some setup, a password, and so forth. But uh, I've already done so. I've already put in my password, so I'm good to go. So take a moment to set that up if you need to. But then we're going to look at some of what we can do here on the cPanel. There's actually quite a lot that we won't cover. What we want right now, though, is the file manager. This is our web-based way to add uh, files to our site. So we come here and it gives me options for the document root. This is because I host several different websites on the same server. So I'm gonna use again this lexiconic.com website. This is a domain that I've owned for a long time and don't really use for much of anything anymore. So we're gonna use it for our example. So that means it's gonna place us into the place where files for the website lexiconic.com should go. So. I like that. I'm going to go click on the go and it takes me right here. So now I'm seeing the file structure that's already in place in lexiconic.com. The cgi.bin you can safely ignore for your simple website that does have a use but it's not one that we need. And we've already got an image folder set up and ready to go for us when we want to put those files in. So what we want to do is upload. So up here it says upload. And here we're going to put all of our main files. These permission, I'll just go ahead and leave those uh, as default. And then click on choose file. So we're going to go to our desktop where we've saved our website. And we know that we want the about.html uploaded. That's our about page. And it's uploading it right there. And it says complete. So we'll go to our CSS file. Choose that. And that's complete. And we'll choose our index file, our main file. We'll open that. And that's complete. And lastly, our just in page right there. Click on that, and that's going up as well. Okay, great. So now we're going to go back to the main route. And now we want to add up, we want to uh, upload our images. So I double click on that. There's another file there that I use for something else. And I click on upload. And again, I'm going to leave the defaults as they are. And I'm going to now go into image and upload this image and this image. Actually, didn't need both of those. That's okay. Got plenty of space. We'll add on Alicia on the press. And you can see this is all, I don't need that attribution, so that's text. You can see this is all a little bit labor intensive, which is why we'll look at another option in the next lecture. 
Okay, so we've got all of those main images, the ones that are showing up in the footers of our pages. But we know also that we have some additional files that I'm not gonna upload here, but that are in here in the subfolder records that has the, uh, the records that are in our just in page. But we need to put them in a folder named records, so we're gonna do something a little bit different. So now we go up back to this page right here and we're going to add a folder. So you see that we're already within the image, the IMG folder. We're gonna add a subfolder to that. And we know that we can call that records because that's what our HTML calls it. So we create the new folder. And there we go. And you can see, by the way, that these other images have successfully uploaded. I can double click on records and now I can upload to that. And again, we'll leave these permissions as they are, unless you know what you're doing with those permissions, just leave them alone. All kinds of security problems can happen if you mess with those. So we'll choose our files. And again, kind of labor intensive. That's why we'll look at some other options. That is not yet, there we go, that's starting to upload. We'll upload our next one. And these are a little bit bigger files, that's why they're taking a little bit longer. There's Aretha. There's the little prince. And finally, Unchained Melody. Now, because our website is very simple, that's it. We've just uploaded all of the files for our simple website. It was simply three HTML documents and uh, a handful of photos and one CSS document. And that's all we needed to do. So, although this took a little bit of time, it really wasn't that bad. And it, we didn't have to set up any special software. So we've now uploaded all of our files. Let's just refresh this to make sure that we have what we need. So you can see now at lexiconic.com, we've got about.html, diyweb.css, index.html, and justin.html. We've got our image folder that has a few different images in it. We've also got the subfolder called records and that's got the five images in that as well. So, let me clear some of these extra tabs. In theory, our website is now completely uploaded and ready to go. Let's see if that's actually true. Go to lexiconic.com. It's still loading, but this is looking very promising so far. These images are showing up, and there you go. So again, this is no longer looking at it on my local hard drive. This has just gone out into the World Wide Web. It has fetched our website, and it's brought it back to our browser. And if I click around, about, that's there. If I click on just in, that's there as well. So. Our website is now live, and all we had to do was click on a few things inside a web-based interface. All right, so that's how we do this through a web host. Um, in the next lecture, I'll show you a different method for loading your website. If you're content with this one, you can skip that lecture if you like. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.